So your scene in Unity is looking a little pink. Let's fix that. First of all, I can assure you that this is fixable. However, we have to understand a couple of things first. When this happens, it means that there is a mismatch between your materials and your render pipeline. In Unity, there are three main render pipelines. So to fix this problem, we need to figure out which one you're using and which one you should use. The three main pipelines are the built-in render pipeline, the high definition render pipeline, and the universal render pipeline. Generally speaking, HDRP and URP are both superior to the built-in render pipeline. As a general rule of thumb, if you're launching a 3D game with really high definition graphics and you only plan to launch it to PC and console, HDRP is a really good choice. If you do plan to launch to Nintendo Switch and mobile, URP might be a better choice. However, many game developers still choose to use the built-in render pipeline. We'll talk about why in a second, but first, let's figure out what render pipeline your Unity project is currently using. If you set up your project using the 2D or 3D core templates, you're most likely using the Unity built-in render pipeline. If you're not sure which render pipeline you're using, this is easy to figure out. Just go to Edit, Project Settings, and then Graphics. In my case, I'm using the built-in render pipeline, so it says none here. If you're using the universal render pipeline, your settings will look like this. And if you're using the high definition render pipeline, your settings will look like this. The built-in render pipeline has been the standard for many years. However, with advancements in computer technology being able to process more advanced graphics, Unity has come up with a couple more solutions. With HDRP catering more towards PC and console and URP catering more towards performance. Make no mistake, URP will eventually be the default for all Unity projects, however, there's just one catch. Creators just haven't had a chance to catch up to this yet, and there's just not that many assets made for HDRP and URP, however, almost all assets support the built-in pipeline. Back to the problem at hand, if you're in an HDRP or a URP project, this is fairly straightforward. You'll go to Edit, Rendering, Materials, and then you get to decide if you want to convert all materials or just the selected materials. In the URP project, it's mostly the same, but you just have fewer options. Now, if you're downgrading to the built-in render pipeline, this is where things get a little bit more labor intensive. Let's take this fence material for example. If we click on it and look at the shader type, we can see that it's showing an internal error. To be compatible, this needs to be changed back to the standard shader. However, you can tell that it's missing some color. Now what we need to do is map the texture back up to the material. So I'm going to go into my textures folder, find the corresponding texture of this material, and then drag that into the albedo slot on the material. Arguably, this is not a fun process to go through if you have hundreds of materials, but sometimes it is necessary. You can alleviate this a little bit by selecting all of the materials that you want to change, changing the shader on bulk to the standard shader, but the texture reassigning does have to be done manually. As I'm filling these in, we can really start to see this scene come to life. And while this isn't the most fun process, if you accidentally happen to switch over your render pipeline, or you find an asset that you really want to use that doesn't fit your pipeline, this process can really be a lifesaver. If you got value out of this content, I really hope you'll consider subscribing. But until then, I'll see you in the next video.